Ja, herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge Cool Talks. Heute wieder ein Neuzugang zu Gast und zwar unser amerikanischer Point Guard Paddy at One. Hey Paddy at, how you doing? Well, first time, how are you doing? Uh, doing fine. Adjusted pretty well to the time zone, but I'll be good. You got a pretty, pretty interesting story because your background is pretty interesting. Yep. Your parents are from Sudan? Correct. So you're born in... Lebanon. Just, just tell us something. Yeah, about. so my parents originally from Sudan, which is now South Sudan. Um, they moved to Lebanon where me, my older brother and my second youngest brother were born. And we moved to the U.S. when I was about two. So, and then after that, I just stayed in Colorado around Denver, Aurora area. So, yeah. And then you got in touch with basketball? So, about that, uh, my older brother, He like brought me into the basketball world. You know, when I was in the U.S., ever since a little boy, I just been playing basketball, and uh, yeah, I just been loving the game after that. So, what what uh, time are we talking about? What year was it? Um, I would say in elementary school. So around seven, eight is when I started playing, and then um, competitively is when I played in uh, middle school. So about 13. And then that's when I started taking the game more serious into high school, and now I'm here. So it was a time when the Denver Nuggets, obviously the most well-known team of Colorado, yeah. was, you couldn't say successful. I mean, yeah. they didn't win a championship, but they nah, were successful. Nah, but we've been close. Um, yeah, just growing up, I just been watching the Nuggets game, been going to their games, and since watching Carmelo, um, Chauncey Billups, Allen Iverson, yeah, all great players, I just fell in love with them. So. So you went to the arena and watched the games live? Yep. Yeah, we went to the arena, watched the game live. Um, we actually watched uh, Dirk, Dirk Nowitzki play one time. So that that was, yeah, that was really good. Uh, got to meet him, got to say what's up. So oh, you got to meet him? Yeah, yeah. When was that? Uh, I would say eighth grade, eighth grade year. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty neat. So right before he retired. So. Obviously, you played basketball at uh, college then, university mm -hmm. in Colorado. Um, when was the point where you said, okay, I just want to focus on basketball and try to be the best I can be and maybe get a pro? I was probably in high school. Okay. Yeah, I would say when I was about 17, I was like, oh, I think I can make a pretty good jump at this. And then once I saw it, around second year of college, third year of college, I said, I can really do this, so I just pushed even further, and now I'm here, so. When you think about your roots, your family, was there anybody who was in touch with basketball, played it or something, or was an, an athlete or sports-oriented? Uh, yeah, just watching family? my older brother play. Um, he was like, I would say, one of the best players I ever saw. And then he stopped playing basketball. What did he stop? Um, just, uh, just a tragic accident, and so he had to stop playing. Okay, but, sorry. you know, after that, I just said, You know, it's my chance. Let me show what I can do. And yeah. Now you're in Europe, Germany. Yeah. First time ever First in time. Europe. Yeah. Have you heard anything about it before? Were you like, okay, I'm going to consider a move? Um, no, I haven't really heard anything, you know, crazy. I just, it's a new world. So I just wanted to see what it was like. Um, I'm glad I'm here. You know, thank you for having me. Uh, but yeah, it's been great. Have you had? A lot of other offers, serious offers, or was it like I'm going to take the one from BioGiants? Uh, I didn't really have any serious offers, but I thought once I got this offer, it was the best fit for me. You know, great organization, you know, 14 championships. Record champion? Record champions, yeah, correct myself real quick. But um, yeah, once I got the offer from Leverkusen, I thought, well, why not go with them, you know? So. You're playing both guard spots, point guard and shooting guard. Which one do you feel more comfortable? Uh, point guard. You know, I like having the ball in my hands, uh, telling people where to go. Um, I feel like I can see the whole court pretty well. And uh, yeah, but shooting guard is pretty good too, you know, taking a little break off the ball. But yeah, I like point guard. You're wearing number one because one of your biggest role models in basketball wore two and it was Derrick Derek Rose. Rose. Yep. Yeah, just growing up, just watching Derrick Rose, I thought he was a hell of a player, you know, just growing up, hometown hero. So. Yeah, I thought, I thought my game was sort of like his, but he's explosive, you know, can get to the rim, can shoot a little bit, so yeah. 
So now you've been around with the team since beginning of September. Obviously, the circumstances are very special with COVID, but still you practicing, doing a lot of things with the team. Um, do you feel comfortable? Yeah, I do feel comfortable. I feel like over here, the COVID situation is pretty handled pretty well. Um, you know, we're not around a lot of people outside the team, so it's basically just us. But, you know, um, team gets along pretty well. So that's what I like pretty much. It's like a family. So. So you like your new teammates? Yeah, I do, I do. You already got a favorite uh, teammate? Uh, no, I don't have a favorite teammate. You don't have to say any yeah, names if you don't I, want I won't to. say any names, but yeah, I like, I like everyone pretty much. It's pretty good, so we get along pretty well. What's your expectation or your goal for the next season? For the next the season? Um, do the best we can. Um, hopefully, obviously the ultimate goal is to win the championship, but you know, uh, stuff comes up, different situations, but Hopefully we can be top, a top team in the league, so yeah. Okay, so you got pretty high goals. Yeah, always have to set high goals, always. Uh, let us talk about NBA shortly, because you're a big NBA fan and you're a big yeah. Nuggets fan. Nuggets are successful, as haven't been for a long time, if you want yeah. to say. That's successful, they're now in the conference finals against the Lakers. What Two do you years think? in a row. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to win. That's what I think. As they're going to win? They're going to win, but I know they're playing LeBron and Anthony Davis, so it's going to be tough, but I think they're going to win. So you're going to say Nuggets in six? In seven. Nuggets in seven? Seven. It's a four three? Yep. And then the Heat or the Celtics? Ooh, the way the Heat are playing, maybe the Heat. They're a really good team, so it's going to be tough. Yeah. 